Section 1. The Human Firewall. Your first line of defense against social engineering. Did you know that over 70% of data breaches start with social engineering attacks? That's right, hackers are targeting you, exploiting human vulnerabilities rather than complex code. They manipulate and deceive to gain your trust, then steal your valuable information. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing, using charm and persuasion to breach your defenses. This isn't about scare tactics, it's about empowering you with knowledge. This essay will delve into the world of social engineering, exposing the tactics hackers use and equipping you with the knowledge to protect yourself. Think of it as building a robust human firewall, strengthening your defenses against these digital con artists. Because in the digital age, awareness is our most powerful weapon. Section 2. What is social engineering and why should you care? Social engineering is the art of manipulation, the digital equivalent of a con artist's smooth talk. It's not about brute forcing passwords, it's about tricking you into handing them over willingly. Hackers leverage our trust, our emotions, and our desire to be helpful. They craft believable scenarios, impersonate authority figures, and exploit our sense of urgency. Think of it like this. You wouldn't open your door to a stranger without asking questions, would you? The same principle applies online. Every email, every phone call, every message could be a potential trap. Social engineering preys on our natural inclinations, making it crucial to be aware of these tactics. These attacks can have devastating consequences. Imagine losing access to your bank account, your social media profiles, or even your entire digital identity. The financial and emotional toll can be immense. Businesses, too, are prime targets, with hackers seeking access to confidential data, financial records, and trade secrets. That's why it's crucial to understand social engineering, to recognize the signs, and to equip ourselves with the knowledge to stay safe. Because in the digital age, our information is our most valuable asset, and protecting it starts with understanding the tactics used to steal it. Section 3. Phishing, casting a wide net for your data. Phishing is perhaps the most common social engineering tactic. It involves fraudulent emails or messages designed to mimic legitimate sources. These messages often appear alarmingly real, complete with official logos, urgent language, and even personalized greetings. They might claim your account has been compromised, your package delivery has encountered a problem, or you've won a prize. The goal is simple, to trick you into clicking a malicious link or downloading an infected attachment. These actions can lead to malware installation, data theft, or granting hackers access to your accounts. Phishing attacks cast a wide net, hoping to ensnare as many victims as possible. Think of it like phishing, hence the name. Hackers cast out numerous lines, each with a tempting bait, hoping someone will bite. They rely on our busy lives, our tendency to skim emails and our trust in familiar brands. But by being aware of the signs, we can avoid getting hooked. Look for inconsistencies in email addresses, suspicious links and requests for personal information. Remember, Legitimate organizations will never ask for sensitive data via email. If something feels off, trust your instincts. Don't click on links or download attachments from unknown senders. Section 4. Pretexting spinning tales to steal your treasures. Pretexting takes social engineering to a whole new level of sophistication. Here, hackers craft elaborate scenarios often involving multiple steps and interactions to gain your trust and extract valuable information. They might impersonate a coworker, a tech support agent, or even a government official. These con artists are masters of manipulation, using believable stories and playing on your emotions to achieve their goals. They might claim there's been a security breach, your assistance is urgently needed, or they require specific information to verify your identity. Their aim is to create a sense of urgency, making you less likely to question their requests. Imagine this, you receive a call from someone claiming to be from your bank's fraud department. They sound professional, use technical jargon, and have access to some of your personal information. They claim there's been suspicious activity on your account and need your PIN to verify your identity. This is a classic example of pretexting. The hacker has created a believable scenario, exploiting your trust in authority figures and your fear of financial loss. Remember, banks and other legitimate institutions will never ask for sensitive information over the phone. If in doubt, hang up and call back using the official contact number.
Section 5. Baiting luring you in with too good to be true offers. Baiting, as the name suggests, involves dangling an irresistible offer to lure you into a trap. This could be anything from a free download of your favorite music album to a chance to win a lottery you never entered. The bait is designed to appeal to your desires, your curiosity, or your desire for a good deal. However, these enticing offers often come with a hidden cost, malware infections, data theft, or access to your online accounts. Think of it like a mouse trap with a delicious piece of cheese. The cheese seems tempting, but taking a bite can have unpleasant consequences. You might encounter baiting tactics on social media, online forums, or even through physical media like infected USB drives left lying around. The key is to be wary of anything that seems too good to be true. Remember, if an offer seems too enticing, it probably is. Don't click on suspicious links, download attachments from untrusted sources, or insert unknown media into your devices. Always err on the side of caution and verify the legitimacy of any offer before taking action.